Well, staying with Africa Day News, one of the challenges that Africa faces is, of course, women's empowerment. Now, in 2015 and 2016, the African Union made their focus women's affairs. For more perspective on that now, here's more from Sardautu Mahdi. She's, uh, she's from the Women's Rights Advancement and Protection Group in Nigeria. Africa is doing right first by the issue, I mean, by the subject matter of legal and policy frameworks. Uh, starting from the African Union itself, where we have the Constitutive Act, which uh, breathes and uh, also implements gender equality, especially in the membership, first of all, of the Commission, where we have five men and five women. The second level is they are acceding to international instruments that guarantee women's rights as well as the protection of those rights, and then the expansion of the space to accommodate them in public life. However, there is a need to, to implement uh, because that is one major area of weakness. The second issue is about uh, this, the, the other instruments that they have acceded to, which we believe, if implemented, will, will see Africa on a high pedestal. Uh, one, you take the Maputo Protocol, the Solemn Gender Declaration on Women's Equality, uh, and uh, the Women's Decade, which is uh, about coming to uh, an end, where we will see how well Africa has done. That is 2020. And uh, the, the other thing is the recent uh, sustainable development goals where particularly we're looking at Africa fulfilling uh, the fourth, fifth and the eighth development goals. And as Kofi Annan observes, if the, so, uh, if the sustainable development goals are to succeed, Africa has to succeed in them and they can only be said to have succeeded if Africa does well in performing and you know, uh, implementing the agenda of the sustainable development goals.